shall profit and take it unto the sanctification of their homes. Let us pray to the Lord. Bodies of all who with faith shall draw and partake thereof, let us pray to the Lord. That He would graciously enable us to perfect sanctification by participation in these waters through the invisible manifestations of the Holy Spirit, let us pray to the Lord. That the Lord God will hearken unto the voice and petition of His sinners and have mercy on us, let us pray to the Lord. That He will deliver us necessity, let us pray to the Lord. That he would do this from all churches, to succor us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. All we to remember, shall most holy and most pure, most blessed, glorious, and it shall talk us in our virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commit ourselves to one another, and all our life unto Christ our God. God and Son, who art in the bosom of the Father, the true God, source of life and of immortality, light of light, who are come into the world to illuminate it, enlighten our minds with thy Holy Spirit, and accept us who offer unto thee majesty and thanksgiving for thou marvelous mighty works, which are from all eternity, as also for thy Savior providence in these latter ages, in which thou hast clothed thyself with our frail and holy substance, and Sass has condescended to the stature of a servant, who yet are king of all, who didst receive baptism in Jordan at the hands of a servant. Do thou, O sinless one, having sanctified the nature of water, mightest and make it for us a way which we should unto a new birth, through water and the spirit, and unto the deliverance, then first unto instituted for us, celebrating the memory of which thy divine mystery we beseech thee, O Lord, who love this man, sprinkle us thine unworthy servants according to thy divine promise, with pure water the gift of thy tenderness of heart, and may the supplication of us sinners over this holy water be well pleasing unto thy goodness, and may thy blessings through it be vouchsafed unto us, and to all thy faithful people, to the glory of thy holy and adorable name, for unto thee be Belong glory, honor, and worship together with thy Father, so everlasting, and thy all holy and good and life creating spirit, now and ever to the ages of ages. Amen. Great art thou, O Lord, and marvelous thy thy works, and there is no word which suffices to him thy wonders. Great art thou, O Lord, and marvelous thy thy works, and there is no word which suffices to him thy, him thy wonders. Great art thou, O Lord, and marvelous are thy works, and there is no word which suffices to him thy wonders. For thou thy will from nothingness has brought all things into being. By thy majesty thou hast thou upfold all creation, and by thy providence thou directest the world. When thou hast framed the universe under four elements, thou hast crowned the circle of the year with four seasons. All the reason and thou powers tremble before thee. The sun singeth thy praises, the moon glorify thee, the stars also stand before thy presence. The light obeyeth thee, the deep shudder under the earth before thee. The water speaks to thy bidding. Thou hast spread out the heavens as like as a curtain. Thou hast established the earth upon the watchers. With sand thou hast wailed of all the, the sand of the seas. Thou hast shed abroad the air for breathing. The angelic powers serve thee. Our danger of our hosts adore thee. The many I cheer up in the six wing seraphim. As they stand round about and do fly, veil their faces of awe before their inapproachable glory. For thou, O our God, which cannot be circumscribed, who art from everlasting and ineffable, is come down upon earth, and taking on the form of a servant, be made like in the likeness of men. For thou couldest not endure, O Master, because of thy tender hearted mercy, to behold the children of men tormented by the devil. For thou didst come and didst save us. We confess thy grace, we proclaim thy mercy, we conceal not thy gracious acts. Thou hast set in liberty the generations of our race, and by thy birth thou sanctified our virgin's womb. All creation singeth praises unto thee, who didst reveal thyself. For thou, our God, didst manifest thyself upon earth, and didst dwell among men. Thou didst hallow also the streams of Jordan, and that thou didst send down from heaven thy Holy Spirit, and didst crush the heads of the serpents who lurketh there. Wherefore, O thou, O King, who lovest man, come down, thou hast sanctified this water by the indwelling of this Holy Spirit. Wherefore, O Lord, who is love man, come down now and sanctify this water by the indwelling of the Holy Spirit. 
Wherefore, O King who lovest man, come thou now and sanctify this water by the indwelling of thy Holy Spirit, and impart unto us the grace of redemption, the blessing of Jordan, making the fountain of immortality, the gift of sanctification, a remission of sins and healing of infirmities, the destruction of demons, unapproachable by hostile powers, filled with angelic might. And may it be unto all those who shall draw it, and shall partake of it unto the purification of their souls and bodies, unto the healing of their passions, unto the sanctification of their houses, unto every expedient service. For thou art our God, and through the water and the spirit does renew our nature, which hath fallen into, into decay through sin. For thou art our God, who with water didst drown sin in the days of Noah. For thou art our God, who by the sea, through Moses, did set free thee from slavery through Pharaoh, the Hebrew race. For thou art our God, who didst cleave the rock in the wilderness, so that water gushed forth, and who madest the floods to well forth abundantly, and to sanctify thy thirsty people. For thou art our God, who by fire and water through Elijah didst set Israel free from the errors of Baal. Thou do the master sanctify now also this water by thy Holy Spirit. Do thou the same master sanctify now this water by thy Holy Spirit. Do thou the same master sanctify now also this water by thy Holy Spirit. And grant also unto all who shall be sprinkled therewith, and shall partake thereof, and shall anoint themselves therewith, sanctification, blessing, purification, and bodily health. Save, O Lord, and I and thy people, and bless thine inheritance. To do uh, all the foes and adversaries, grant all the petitions for unto salvation and life eternal, that with the elements that men and angels, with all the things visible and invisible, may be magnified thy most holy name, together with thy Father and thy Holy Spirit, now and ever unto the ages of ages. baptism in Jordan, and to sanctify the marches, bless also us who, by the bowing of our necks, do outwardly signify our humility of mind, and graciously grant that we may be filled with thy sanctification, to our partaking of this water, and through spirit sprinkling therewith, and may be to unto us, O Lord, for the health of our souls and bodies, for thou art our sanctification of souls and bodies, and to thee we send the glory, thanksgiving, and worship together with thy fathers from everlasting, and thy all holy and good, and life-creating spirits, now and ever unto the ages of ages. Oh. When thou was baptized in the Jordan, O Lord, in the joy. 